A birth can be one of the happiest moments in a parent's life. But heartbreaking complications can happen. After a miscarriage or stillbirth, families face grief. In tonight's Eye on Kettle Land, Dan Santella introduces you to local resources that help families work through the pain. This is not just any teddy bear. It's much heavier, six pounds, nine ounces. And I think um, so many women describe just the achiness of empty arms, um, especially when you leave a hospital without your child. Um, so the comfort of having something to kind of hold on to. I mean, there were many nights in Briar's nursery that I just rocked that bear, you know, and cried because I just, I would have been up with him. Megan and Jeremy Bartell's son Briar was stillborn in February 2015. I was at work and we didn't know he was a boy and so I just didn't feel the baby move. So I called my husband, uh, worried, um, just saying I, I don't remember the last time I felt, felt the baby move. And so I went and got a powdered donut and a Sprite just to get some sugar in my system and I, I just couldn't get the baby to move. The worst had happened. It was literally my worst nightmare that came true. Um, I, I think pregnancy has always been kind of like an anxiety state for me, just with it never really being super easy. And so actually having it where we were so close. Briar weighed six pounds, nine ounces. It's, I mean, just a hurt that's so deep in your soul that you can't even explain. I mean, being so excited to bring your child into the world. Before Megan and Jeremy had their daughter, Rylan, they had two miscarriages. They had another after their son, Bennett, was born. I think one of the biggest things that I get asked a lot is like, how many children do you have and how old are they? <laughs> so I've kind of had to perfect my answer over the years. To help other women who struggle with the same kind of loss, Megan has helped raise money for a bassinet called a cuddle cot. The cuddle cot can extend people's physical time with their child um, where it just kind of slows down the natural processes um, so then people can, you know, I mean really that's the only physical time you'll, you'll ever have. The gift of time is really what it's giving them. Um, these families have planned during their pregnancy for years and years to come and they only have a few moments to truly make as many memories as they can. Um, for them, it's maybe watching a special TV show or movie or listening to a song, reading them a book, um, taking pictures and saying prayers and allowing other family members to truly get a chance to meet them. In addition to a cuddle cot, Avera also offers something called an angel gown, a wedding gown transformed into a gown for a stillborn or miscarried child. I have people that call me at home and say, somebody told somebody that you do this and I have a wedding gown, could I bring it over or could I meet you somewhere? So they, they show up from everywhere. Jean Hess of Brookings makes them. And I think it can really help the family with their grief when you acknowledge that this little, little child is a member of their family and it, it was here. Here she shows us some examples of the gowns. I just love doing this. I can't help but do it. It's something I really do feel, feel drawn to and I just do hope that it gives comfort to the families. And every gown that I make, I do say a little prayer for the child that's going to wear it and also for their family. Avera Health Chaplaincy Manager Jerry Vanderly says the cuddle cot and angel gowns give families dignity. We want to respect people in their grief, in their process, regardless of their faith tradition or where they're at. And so these things uh, help facilitate an atmosphere of respect and dignity in a time of loss. It's not always easy to talk about miscarriage or stillbirth, but maybe less important than the exact words are someone's presence. Don't be worried about the perfect thing to say to somebody. Just be there, show up. Um, don't say, well, if you need anything, let me know. They're not gonna let you know. So show up, bring a meal, uh, buy a coffee, um, remember an anniversary. Grief can be heavy and its weight continues. I think a lot of people think that grief is just this journey that someday ends and it doesn't. Um, it changes but I think in going through anything difficult you'll find little moments of peace. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Dan Centella. If you have a wedding dress you'd like to send to Hess, Dan can help you get it to her. You can email him at dcentella at kettleland.com.